Hello everybody, this is a quick start guide on how to get from zero to hero with Animation Composer. We will look at the motion presets, precomps, transitions, sound effects and also the user library, where you can add your own stuff. To open Animation Composer, go to Window and click Animation Composer. I will scale the window and let's start with transition presets. Let's see what we have here. It's a happy little tree. I'll select it, select this folder with 2D layer transitions and select, for example, this transition. I'll select this variation and add it as in transition. Now if I preview, you can see how it animates into the scene. The preset animates your layer from the layer in point to this marker. TR in is an abbreviation for transition in. You can change the duration of this transition by dragging this marker. Now it animates a little slower. I'll undo and I'll move the playhead to the beginning. Now we are in the edit tab and these values can change your animation. So for example, if I put there 200, the starting value of the transition is the position of this layer plus 200. I can change the X axis by dragging and I can also change the angle. And now the layer animates with these values. So let's go back here, adjust it a little more and let's check it out. There is much more Animation Composer can do, so let's check out other examples. Let's check this out. So, there are text layers. Let's recreate this animation. I'll select these layers and press Remove all presets. Now I select the tree and apply this preset. It's a simple animation of scale. So, there we have our little tree. And now let's animate this happy text. I go to transition text layer and let's choose something nice. Well, this looks like a growing trees, so I'll choose the animate from the bottom variation and animate it in. I press L to collapse this layer and this is how it looks. Great, let's work with these other two layers. So I'll go to 2D layer transitions and I'll use this one. So I'll animate it in and I will copy the preset to the other layer. Now I want to change the angle of the animation. So I will change the value to minus 100. Let's check how it looks. And there we go. Here is another example of how you can animate your stuff. All these layers are animated using the presets included in the free version of Animation Composer. Hmm, pancakes. Now let's check this out. We have a forest of happy little trees. And you can see there is something off with them. And I'll show you how to fix it. You can see that the layers animate from the center and you know that the trees grow from the ground. So I'll select all these layers, go to Window, open Anchor Point Mover and change the position of the anchor point by clicking here. Now you can see that the anchor point moved down. Now this forest is much more realistic, don't you say? You can also remove the preset from all the layers all at once and add something else, like this. There you go. The cool part is that if I change the position of the layers, it doesn't break the animation. That's because the layers are animated using the smart expressions and not the keyframes. Now let's animate these trees out. I'll select all the layers, move the playhead here, trim the layers, go to Browse 
and apply this preset as out animation. So you can see that they animate all at once. A secret pro tip. Go to window, select transition shifter and let's shift these layers out. I select shift out transitions. I'll move it out a little bit and now I will randomize it. I go to stagger out transitions, select random, put there 15 frames, set do and now you can see that the trees randomly animate out. The same thing applies to this example with this bar chart. I'll zoom out. I can change the scale of these layers and it doesn't break the animation. Let's now jump to the effect presets. Check this out. And the thing is that the clouds and the sun animates continuously. How do you do that? Let's learn. Effect presets animate your layer continuously. For example, you can make your layer jump. I select the cloud and I can see that there is in animation and there is an effect. The in animation is just this scale up and then this effect animates the layer continuously. So I'll select these layers and I'll remove all the effects. Now we ended up with just the transitions. And let's recreate these effects. I select the sun. I go to browse and select the effects 2D layer. And I'll apply this preset. Voila! So the sun now looks a little bit too crazy. I'll just decrease the overall intensity to let's say 20 and this is much better. I'll copy this preset, just the effect, select these two remaining layers, the clouds, and paste. The thing is that now all these layers animate the same way. So let's change it a little. I select one cloud and change the value for the position. I also change the offset for the y-axis and change the frequency to 3. Now when I preview this, you can see that it no longer animates the same way. Let's change the other cloud a little again. I'll decrease the frequency, this as well, increase the y-axis and maybe increase the angle change a little bit. So let's check how it looks. Amazing! These are the happiest cloud ever. You can also set where the animation should start or end. If I select the sun and move the playhead here, I can add the start marker and this will make the sun wiggle from this marker. I can also change the duration, how long it will take the sun to start wiggling by expanding this marker duration. Now let's jump to the precomps. Let's start with, for example, the social media. I'll select this one, I'll set it to animate in and animate out, and click add. This is how it looks. You can change the layer however you want, you can get into the composition, and you can also easily change the duration from here. You can also change the color and you can reset it. Let's add something else. For example, the subscribe. I'll move it here. Move it down. Move the thumb over here. Rescale it. This one down here. And this is what we got. Check this out. These transitions are really cool. So let's delete them 
Now let's recreate them. I'll move my playhead here to the cut, select the layer, select this folder with transitions, see all the transitions, and I'll select this one and press add. So right away you can see that it has applied and the first thing you notice that it's a bit off. I want to scale it from here so it scales from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the pan behind tool and change the anchor point. There you are. And that's it. Easy. The other one as well. I'll go here. Having this layer selected, I'll apply the same transition. Press add. And I want it to scale from here. So I'll move the anchor point right there. And there we go. Nice. You can also change these settings, but I will leave that to you. The sound effects. All these audio layers are the same sound. Let's delete them and let's recreate this thing. I'll go to starter sounds and use my arrow keys. The cool thing is that you can change the pitch. And you can also reverse the sound. For example, the clang. So let's go to the pop, this one, I'll set it to zero and press add. I'll zoom in a little, duplicate it a couple times. So now all sound the same. I can select the layer and change the pitch here. You can see down here how the layer stretches. And now, the user library. The most requested feature is finally here. Now you can add your own stuff to Animation Composer. To add stuff, you can click this button or you can drag it from another window. Now Animation Composer is asking you where you would like to store the previews. It renders the previews for you and you can choose if you want to render it inside this folder or in the composer's internal local cache. In most cases you are good to go with this one. The first one comes handy if you have huge libraries and you are storing them on an external shared storage or a Dropbox. So I'll click OK. Now the previews are being rendered. It will take a little while. Alright, that's it. Let's look inside. And a really cool feature is that you can add your own project file. This is a project file, this is a folder inside of that project file, and these are compositions that are inside. So you can, for example, add a composition from a completely different project, just like this. I'll delete this one. And you can really quickly look around and add stuff. You can hover scrub to preview what's inside of the composition. This works the same for the footage. So for example, if I select the footage, I can hover scrub the preview. Another really cool feature is that you can add mogurts. You can preview them and you can add them. There you go. And you can edit the master properties right from here. You can add images. You can change this and if you add something, I'll delete this one, 
You can select something else and press replace. Then you can also add sound effects and music. And also change the pitch. You can right click and reveal this item in the tree. Or you can reveal the source file. You can also reload the folder, re-render all the previews or remove it from the library. Congratulations! Now you know everything! Yeah.